That was nearly perfect timing. Whoo! Hello, everybody. Welcome to another night of ridiculousness, um, including this shitty chair that nearly broke on me today. It's it's flimsy. It's going out. Gotta get a new chair soon. It is what it is. Um, anywho, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, so, <clears throat> I was thinking I could start off the stream this evening just going through um, some ideas of what to do next because we are down to our last couple of beans, believe it or not. Um, I think I counted today, there's about 10 beans left, so you figure that's 30 subs, the rate we're going, it's, it's not going to last long. Um, and on top of that, um, I'm kind of over these jelly beans. Like the first few, I was like, oh my God, these are nuts. But now it's like, everything just tastes like dog shit. <laughs> it's so bad. And I want to have something that, you know, I mean, it's going to be some type of punishable thing, right? Like a, Hey, you guys gave me your money. I need to do something ridiculous for it now. So... <laughs> So I'm thinking I'll switch to the realm of like something that's like incredibly sour. Um, so, anywho, let's uh, let's jump on over and, and we'll head over here to the uh, the old website Magoo. Also, there's like no audio there. Sorry about the music just dying out. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Very. So, sour candy. There we go. Toxic Waste. Three-pack Toxic Waste Special Edition Drums of Assorted Sour some Candies. I've actually had this beer. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. 200 gram bag of Barnett Mega Sour Raspberry. I mean, one flavor seems kind of boring. There have to be a couple different flavors. Let's go check this out. Ooh, Where's the dark mode? That is still not dark mode. What the fuck? Ah, no, don't go to my goddamn card. I just want to, I want to sign out for now. <laughs> Jesus. Go back here and take a look at this. So, <clears throat> this is only doing slightly better. <laughs> if I just make it smaller, there. Everyone can look at my background and look at what I got installed. Fun stuff. So, this is some sort of assorted sour candy. Five ultra sour flavors plus one new mystery flavor it includes apple, watermelon, lemon, blue raspberry, and black cherry. So there's your five. Three special edition collectible drums. Comes with three reusable, recyclable, and uniquely colored orange, purple, and green toxic waste drums. Double action flavor. Just when you think the sour is over, our toxic waste hazardously sour candy delivers another round of ultra sour. Yo, so these are basically more heads, but like not filled with sugar in the middle of it oh man take the challenge we dare you try the only sour candy store to be officially proclaimed hazardous about us candy dynamics is the proud brand owner of all tox waste candies designed for the children and all of us what the fuck what am i getting myself into here caution ah! criminy Hi, Fry. Small objects like me. Okay, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh, consuming more than one piece at a time may cause irritation to mouth. Sensitive individuals should not consume this product. How long can you keep one in your mouth? Not, not like chew up and enjoy. Or chew it up really quick as fast as you can and swallow it and be done with it. This is like until you fucking spit it out. What the fuck? 
15 seconds total wuss. 30 seconds crybaby. 45 seconds toxic. Is it toxy or toxic? Looks like an E. I think it's supposed to be a C. Toxic wannabe. 60 seconds full tox toxy head. No, maybe it is toxy. Okay. Good luck. That seems like a bad idea. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> and it's the same with... Are they, all, are they all 60? 15, 30, 45, 60? Because that would suck if one of them was like even more ridiculous. Hmm, they're all the same. Yeah, Deli can only do one at a time. Only 50 calories. <laughs> Sugar, corn syrup, citric acid, malic acid, dextrose, artificial flavors, maltodextrin, beeswax, yellow 5, red 40, blue 1, blue 2. Made in Pakistan. <laughs> sounds like it will disintegrate your stomach lining. Um... Yeah, that's what that sounds like to me. Let's go read the reviews. Because <laughs> the reviews are probably fantastic. They made a fucking child. Oh my god, hold on. He's doing pretty good. Or or is it Everyone knows when you fall into a batch of toxic waste, you turn into a Oh no, I can't do that. Um huh, let's see what the uh written reviews are. Of course, everything I even is in dark mode would be weird. Scripper says, can't even put it for packs that call toxic food. It's not safe to eat the food. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know if that's legitimate, but. Harley says, getting dipped in acid. Don't want acid covered garbage. I wanted a candy, meaning sweetness combined with sour, so the same taste all throughout. I'm not upset that it was too sour. I'm upset that it's made with the intention of a competition. Not as something you generally enjoy eating it is actually acid. Would you calm down? It's not made to be edible. You can't call yourself a sour cave. You don't even have the people to combine the candy and the sourness. Uh, that just sounds like someone that's complaining because they just were like, ooh, this isn't enjoyable. It's like, like relax. <sighs> eh. Let's get some Sour Patch Kids and call it good. I mean, yeah, like if that's what that person's looking for, get Sour Patch Kids. Absolutely. Um, so that one's out of the question, then. Is there anything other than that? Oh, God. Sour pickle balls? What in this... What? Texasfood.com? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. Toe of Satan lollipop. Oh, I've heard about that. It's not good. But uh, let's go check it out. I'll show you what it is. I've heard about it. The Toe of Satan lollipop is not a sweet sucker to savor. It's a candy that tests your metal while it scorches your tongue. The Satanic Sucker is made from a special Hellfire Chili Extract that has a Scoville heat unit rating of 9 million... That's 900 times harder than the jalapeno and harder than the hottest pepper on the planet. So be careful. This is a food for... S it's a food for serious spice gladiators only. If you're hell-bent on heat, try the Toe of Satan challenge. Keep the sucker in your mouth for five merciless minutes. It's guaranteed to turn your mouth into a lake of fire. What if you slice up a fresh lemon on stream and eat that? I mean... <laughs> at that rate, might as well, right? Man, like I really want something, uh, that's going to be like, holy shit, this, the, the sourest, the sourest candies in the world ranked. Okay. 
Sour Nerds is a thing. Oh, I missed the boat on that. Uh, yeah, Sour Skittles. I ate, like, a few of those one time as a kid, and I was like, oof. Sour Patch Kids Extreme. I don't think I've had those. Sour Flush Candy Toilets. Okay, you ready for a weird one. Remember Baby Bottle Pops? Think that same concept, except the candy is a toilet plunger, and you dip it into a plastic toilet full of sour sugar. Oh, God. Yep, you're eating from the toilet, but don't worry. The bright colors make this absolutely bonkers concept a lot more fun than it seems to say nothing of that delicious blast of sour flavor. <laughs> Where do I find this? What the fuck? Is some other random goddamn article. Where do I... F How do I purchase those? Tavener Sour Lemon Drops? Similar to lemon heads in the U.S., these lemon-shaped sour candies honor everything there is to love about tangy sour lemons. Plus, they're made with natural coloring and vegetarian ingredients. Hmm. Oh, Wheeler's here. Thanks for the host, my friend. I don't know what you were laughing at. <laughs> I Me, mean, if I just paused the music, I probably would have seen it. Uh, Crybaby Tears. Literally shaped like tears. Retro candy. They have seem to have gotten overshot by some of the newer candies on the list, but they still have a dedicated following of extreme candy lovers. Okay. Warheads are not number two. No. Warheads are not the second most sour candy on the planet. Get out of here. Assassin's Creed Odyssey climbing a naked man statue and hanging off of his dick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amazing. And then Toxic Waste, what we were just reading before. Sold mostly in the U.S. <laughs> well, how could the FDA possibly have not approved of it than if it's being sold in the U.S.? <laughs> Fucking Karen's on the internet, I tell you. Well, that was a dumb blog. Alright, so, Wheeler, talk to me. You've eaten some dumb shit on stream. Um, what is a sour candy that I can eat that's going to be like, oh god. Like, too, like not, not to the point where it's like, this is going to actually cause harm, but like, holy fuck, this is sour. I'm curious if you've done anything like that. <laughs> Uh, blah, 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 blah. Toxic waste was chosen by deliciously as its top pick for sour candy on earth. That's the one we found. It becomes its own challenge for on the case. Yep. Not everyone thinks so, though. Some of the com commenters on that article recommend a British candy called Barnett's Mega Sours. Still, others voted for a different UK import, Mr. Sims' exclusive Black Death Pips. With one reader calling them a taste bud massacre. Blech. While Barnett's and Mr. Sims' sour candies each had five votes apiece for World Sour's Candy in the comments thread, we've given the edge to Mr. Sims here, both because of the deadly name and also because of their subsequent appearance in a TV reality show. Those don't look appetizing at all. Like Those look like rocks. The like, no, I don't think that's good. Sour. <laughs> Apparently on The Bachelorette, they <laughs> Travel to Scotland with their gang of wannabe husbands. While she was there, she visited a candy store with a contestant named Mike. Both Hannah and Mike tried the Black Death Pips and the recognition of a store clerk. It somehow survived the candy's 20 second burst of pain and potential stomach irritation and mouth pain. These caveats, courtesy of the candy's own manufacturer. Wow. The recovery was perhaps helped along just a bit by all the whiskey they had consumed later that evening, but sadly, this death-defying date did not result in wedding bells in season 15. Oh, no. Uh, think you're as tough as a dating show contestant? No need to travel abroad in order to torture your tongue with the Black Death? Oh, God. I don't think I like the idea of that. I don't really care about... No. No, 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 no. <sighs> All 
All right, pucker up. What does pucker up say? Sour Skittles. They were number eight in the other blog, but they I've had them before, and they are pretty, pretty sour. Oh, there's the Barnett's Mega Sour Lemons from the UK. That shit wasn't fucking sour. Get the fuck out of here. No, that was... That's the easy stuff. No, you're gonna find the two tart candy spray. It's legit. Just a fucking... Or into your mouth. And oh my god. Yeah, 2008. Yeah, try 1998. Two tart candy. Tedeschi's used to carry them. Koala Red Band Assorted Sours. Bon bon sorets sorties. Holland's finest quality gummy candy is in this bag from the creators of Jumbo Sour Suckers. That we, I, oh my god, look what's down there. <laughs> that we all know what up comes to another classic. As soon as you bite into one of these, the combination of sweetness and sourness collide together, creating a delightful taste. If you like sour candy, then you'll love these. Sour Flush Candy Toilets. Holy shit, Fry, we found him. The sourest candy will get dipped into the toilet. Candy Funhouse has this sweet and sour candy. It takes an unexpected twist and a familiar seat, turning it into a fun treat. <laughs> The sour flush candy toilets. You can dip your sweet lollipop plungers into the bowl filled with the sourest candy powder, putting you in control of how sour you want it. This one's super sour candy that doesn't stink. Don't forget to put the seat down. Oh, God. We're rich. Imagine coming up with that fucking idea. <laughs> oh. Uh, the Taverner Sour Lemon Drops, they like their lemon heads. Uh, lemon heads are so good, so they fucking destroy my teeth. Crybaby Tears? Oh, those are those, okay. We've convinced these were made to turn a grown man or woman into a crybaby, see if you can handle them. These appropriately shaped teardrop candies are a classic when sour candy comes to mind, and a must write anyone who thinks they can stand up to the test. The name of the candy was given because it's so sour, it'll make your eyes water. Try all the delicious flavors Candy Funhouse creates. Hold on. Follow me on this. Was given... Oh, yeah. Uh, so sour, it will make your eyes water. Try all the delicious flavors. <laughs> Warheads is number two in this one as well. What the fuck? It's dumb. So, it's to all right, so toxic waste is number one. We keep finding toxic waste. This is the only double action super sour candy in the market. And for that, they take the number one spot. Fuck. Damn, okay. Damn. They're the only ones that do that. That's the coolest part. These toxic waste candies are hazardously sour. It will make your face pucker up almost instantly. Many sour connoisseurs will agree that these are the sourest candies in the market. We would have to agree. Try them and let us know what you think. Can you handle them? God damn it. Fry, I, I think we're going to get beat. However... Crybaby Tears? I want to look these up a bit more. Crybaby Tears. We'll check Amazon again, I suppose. I hate how fucking dark mode, this dark mode plugin just does not do a good job anymore. I mean, it does enough where I'm not being blinded. <laughs> Crybaby Tears. It's a pack of 24. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a pack. Of, it's a pack of twenty-four of these. Yo, how many are they? How many are you gonna put in there? Holy fuck! Hold on. Branded Tootsie Roll brand. Interesting. Gumball tubes, gumballs, mini box candy. Kosher, peanut free, and gluten free. The more you know. The question is: Is statements regarding dietary supplements not been evaluated with the FDA and are not intended to diagnose cure for any disease or health condition? Well, <laughs> I don't think you're. Uh, it's not the right audience. So sour. There's got to be an old timey candy store somewhere. Go in and get one box instead of 20. <laughs> yeah, no shit. 
$22. What if it sucks? Like, that's a lot of candy. <laughs> Bulk candy store. God, I love them selling these boxes, huh? Christ. Alright, um, uh, just the entire box at once. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, and where are these sour flesh candy toilets? <laughs> Look at, look at this fucking catastrophe. <laughs> Congrats, guys. I got... There's been five more subs. I'm gonna go <laughs> eat out of a toilet. Uh, three count pack of one. So I'm assuming it comes with three toilets, like saran wrap together or something. Oh, they're soy free, guys. And gals. Watermelon, grape, blue raspberry, sour, pow sour powder, toilet, and a plunger dip. Oh my god. It's fucking absurd. Alright, well, what up? Um, and yeah, what's the other thing we found? Oh yeah. The toxic waste. Oof. <laughs> Can I buy toxic waste on Amazon? That's not what I was looking for. All right, so seven fifty for um. How many come in this though? Oh, I've had these before. I feel like I haven't. Yeah, they were pretty spicy, uh, spicy sour. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember them being double soured though, to the point where even if you bite into them, it's just it just adds more sour into it. Maybe that's something new. Hmm. Like, how many comes in that? Like, I, I get it. We got three pieces, but how many of the mini pieces are in there? So I'm gonna get totally fucking destroyed on a deal. It's like, oh. <laughs> All right. So. Five point two ounces is the unit count. There can't be that many in like one of these. They probably put like maybe two or three or some shit. So one point seven ounces. Yeah, there might be like three or four in each of those. So, uh, just get one of those twenty pound sour patch bears and take a bite out of it. Gross! Can you imagine the fucking bacteria that built on that? <laughs> well, I'm gonna look it up though, cause now I'm curious. <laughs> sour patch. Wait, no, let's just do sour giant gummy bear. Oh my god, five pounds. What the fuck? Big Sour Patch infused vodka. Oh my god. That does not sound like a bad idea. I mean, it sounds like a terrible idea because it'll mess me the fuck up. 6,000 calories of gummy. <laughs> Proudly made in USA. Of course. <laughs> so you get sour cherry at the top, sour blue raz, then sour green apple. 
I mean, like, if it's that gummy, I'll take a fucking steak knife to it and just cut off a piece of it and eat it. You know? Rather than just getting my slobber all over it and... <laughs> That's fucking wild. <laughs> Look at it. Covered in cocaine. <laughs> oh, my God. Um... Oh yeah, what come, how many come in this bag? 120? Okay, now we're fucking talking. And they want 14 bucks for it? That's not terrible. But I don't know if I need to buy it off of fucking Amazon. I feel like I could find those at a fucking candy store somewhere. Alright. So I have an idea for sour stuff. Some good ideas. Let's see how I can destroy my life further. So we already know about Toe of Satan. We read about that. Little Nitro, the world's hottest gummy bear. Oh, God. Well, let's take a look. Hello, are we shopping for torture? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, Miss, Miss Potato. <laughs> Uh, we were just doing a big search on sour, and I feel like I'm just going to look for something that's spicy just for shits and giggles here. Why would you want to buy more than one? It's a giant red gum. Well, not giant, but it's a just ridiculously spicy gummy bear. 9 million Scoville units. 100 times harder than a jalapeno. Oh, my God. Who would frequently bought together? Who does that to themselves? Also, what is that? Oh, Toe of Satan. Okay, I just didn't, I couldn't see it. So the Toe of Satan, the One Chip Challenge, and then Lil Nitro, this gummy bear. Um, if that's the company that is shared with this thing, I'm all fucking set. I'm gonna go look at the reviews on this. Amazing and worth it. Was this guy in speed? This poor dog's like, I don't want to do it. Spicy Pop Rocks? Whoa. It's so wholesome, but so cringy. Okay, anyways, Spicy Nerds. Where did you see that? Tell me. World's Hottest Chocolate Bar? Don't do that to me. Death Nut Challenge? Yo, get this Death Nut. Cringe some. <laughs> oh, is it right here? No, it's Juicy Drops. Uh, where did you see them? I'm trying to read your screen on my phone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's right. I made it so much smaller. I don't know if that, that definitely did not help. Let me see if I can zoom in. Alright, that seems reasonable then. So yeah. <laughs> so, for those who know what the one chip challenge is. Um, and, and Tree would be the one to tell everyone about this. Because I stupidly decided to say something out loud. And he clipped me on it. So this is a Carolina Reaper scorpion pepper in a chip. One extremely hot tortilla chip. Yes. Read it here correct. Um, basically, you put this thing in your fucking mouth and you see how long you can uh, hold off before you like take like milk or water or water, ice cream, like a bunch of this crazy shit. Spicy pop rocks are a thing. We're going. <clears throat> A 
extreme pop rocks. <laughs> Super loud, sour popping candy. Wake up your taste buds with the extremely loud sound and the big taste of extreme pop rocks. Each tube contains generous portions of the classic hard candy crystals that have been amped up to fizz even louder than the original. Whoa. Available in delicious sour flavors like sour berry blast and savage sour apple. Each pour will have you drooling for more decibels. <laughs> Flavor chosen at random. I mean, that sounds fun as fuck, but I don't want to buy from VAT19. I don't know who the fuck that is. What is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. These just all are just pop rocks. <laughs> I mean, should I just... <laughs> we'll have a sub goal, and at the end of the sub goal, if we hit it, I'll just put, like, three bags of Pop Rocks in my mouth and chug a Coke or something. <laughs> <laughs> Hysterical. Oh, man. Taco Bell made a burrito with them in it. They put Pop Rocks in a burrito? What the fuck? They don't need to do that. No, God. All right, let's take a look at this then. Oh yeah, here's the bomb as you were talking about. Let's go read up on it. The bomb, ghost pepper hot sauce. Firecracker burrito. I hate it. Ground zero? Or just regular pepper? Oh my god, they made a worse one? Is that what that's telling me? One drop of this shit. Which one? There's the ghost pepper hot sauce and the ground zero hot sauce. Battery acid on your tongue. <laughs> But it's GMO-free, keto, gluten-free, and sugar-free. Just a dash will do. This one made Gordon Ramsay cry on live television. <laughs> spicy pebbles are basically spicy nerds. Let's check it out. <laughs> hey, they're sold on Wish. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know that's, yeah, I know that's where that came from, exactly. Yeah, I don't know if I want to eat those. <laughs> Alright, so let me, is this the nut thing? The nuts? Keep out of reach of children. Oh, is this popcorn? Yo, say what? Each Eat one kernel or can you handle the whole bag? Growing popcorn is rolled in our famous cupcake batter, cane sugar glaze that are rolled in the hottest pepper spice on earth. 2.1 million Scoville heat. Well, I guess it's natural pepper spice, 2.1 mil. Because the 900 million Scoville units or whatever it is, um, that's like, it's supposed to be completely genetically altered or something. <laughs> oh, nope. Uh, eat the entire bag if you can, or wait as long as possible before drink or eating anything. Post your reaction on social media with Devil's Heat Challenge. So you have to eat the whole fucking bag. Bag contains average 15 to 20 coated kernels. Can you eat one, two, or the bag? Try it. We dare you. I wonder how, how fucking bad it is. Because I love popcorn. <laughs> Fuck all that. I'm doing well. 
Um, just, I, I realized today that I'm down to 10 spicy beans left, and I wanted to see what, what we do next on our list. Spicy garlic bean paste? What the f Oh, God, no. Where's the reviews for this thing, by the way? Okay. Don't let the sweet cake batter smell fool you. It's a creeper and a good one. We better than the packy chip challenge. Just another popcorn to share with a friend. There's no way you can finish the bag yourself. The heat is insane, but so good. Oh. I mostly get a mild tongue burn, but that's about it. Three or four at most, but definitely not challenge level unless you're very sensitive to spicy products. And this is your first time trying spicy snacks. All that said, I still recommend it for the flavor and would buy it again. Interesting. Look crap, some of that shit is just plain brutal. Yeah, I know, for real. Popcorn was good and spicy, but it was not as hot as I was expecting. If you like spicy, you should buy this, but if you want your face to melt off, then keep looking. Sweet, hot, and yummy. <laughs> Tastes great, but inconsistent. If you get past that, fuck you, man. If you get past nasty sugar taste where you get to the heat, one dollar per kernel is not worth it. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's rolled in a fucking cake batter. It's to fool you. Yeah, the uh, price of it's probably bullshit. What is the price tag? Yeah, ten bucks for what? Fifteen to twenty. 15 to 20 coated kernels. I mean... It sounds like a cool treat if I ever find it, but... I don't think I'm going to buy that. It's spicy pebbles are over on Wish over here. <laughs> what else you got? Yeah, you know, they got fucking ghost pepper cocaine. Hippie Hill Designs? Oh, God. Don't put that into your system. Oh, I hate Atomic Fireballs. All set with that. Blech. Gross. Thoughts of Vlad's dad? Oh, God. <laughs> Can't imagine what that was, too. Hmm. Alright, so what other hot sauces do we have here? Blueberry Hell with Carolina Reaper? Zombie snot. A hot verde sauce. Mmm, what are we talking? I may just burn this legit. I love verde. It's a chili head salsa verde green sauce. This insanely fresh taste sauce is amped up using the Carolina Reaper and rounded out with green habanero peppers, roasted garlic, Granny Smith apples, tomatillos, cilantro, scallions, and lime juice. Considered one of our milder sauces, this still packs a punch. Not just another green salsa verde sauce. Enjoy the amazing fresh flavor of this sauce in virtually anything. Heat level 5 out of 10. Honestly, like, I love verde sauce, but it's super fucking mild. Like, it's more so I like just, like, the different flavors encompassed in it. But getting it with heat? Mmm. Can't see or... Oh. Can't see or hear you, but... Like, oh. I know what he did. He's got his little chat thing. Fucking heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna go and type on him. Sent him a little heart back. I have him up on Lurk over there. Um, okay, so that... Hell, that sounds delicious. I would just buy that and use it, but... I mean, I gotta find something that's gonna fucking... Over 1 million Scoville? Okay, but 23 bucks. That was really cute. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I guess I'm an ubu back. It's gonna be one of those nights. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be the blueberry hell one, and then um, I think we'll we'll play something. Original blueberry hot sauce. Blueberry hell is a multi award winning hot sauce featuring the ultimate super fruit, the blueberry. <laughs> <It's> fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Heavy just destroyed me. I'm start over. Featuring the ultimate super fruit, the blueberry, and created with a special blend of hot and super hot peppers, including the Carolina Reaper, fruit, and honey to create a fantastic balance of sweet and heat. The sauce tastes great on just about anything, including ice cream. Bro, calm the fuck down. 
don't be fooled by the sweetness of the blueberries as you'll feel the heat with the sauce. Heat level 5 out of 10. Again, that sounds delicious. I wouldn't call that spicy. Um, 21 hottest hot sauce in the world. Barely legal. <laughs> the shit that he's sending in the chat. <laughs> oh... Rectum Wrecker. <laughs> Carolina Reaper Acid Rain. Really, really hot. Oh, God. Melindra's Red Savina Pepper Sauce. 577,000 Scoville Heat Units. It's more than the Carolina Reaper Rectum. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, it is. No, there's a thousand. Okay. Ultra Death Sauce. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kajan's Lethal Ingestion Boot Jolokia Hot Sauce. I can't even know. I don't even know if that's... What does that even mean? <laughs> Use only prescribed dosage. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> Using the Jol Jolokia Chili, Red Savina Habanero Chili, and Fatali Chili. All making this one lethal concoction. It's one of the hottest non-extract hot sauces, meaning it gets its heat from actual peppers, not just from extracting the peppers capsaicin. One million heat units. Good fucking God. Heartbreaking Dawn's Reaper Cushion 7 Pot Primo. Made using a heartbreaking mix of the Trinidad Scorpion Peppers and 7 Pot Primo. These fiery peppers are paired with apple cider vinegar, garlic, and lime for added taste, but it still doesn't make the kick, doesn't mask the kick of these chilies. 1.5 million. Speck my ass and call me Sally. <laughs> Hydra 7 Pot Primo. Stinger Scorpion Pepper Sauce. 2 million. Jesus. The Last Dab XXX. Oh, it's the hot ones. Jesus. Used on the first We Feast web series hot ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Two million. Wicked Reapers, 2.2 .2 mil. Oh. A lethal dose. What the fuck? Is he nothing beyond extremely hot sauce? Meet your maker death sauce. Oh, six million. Oh, bumble fucked. Hint of ginseng and caffeine for an added kick. Oh, that is awful. The end hot sauce. Uh. Honestly, you don't have the stones. Just put it back. <laughs> Get bitten black mamba six hot sauce. Oh my god. Peppers or chocolate habaneros and apparently it doesn't help. The source hot sauce. Thousand times hotter than a jalapeno. The hundred pots of chili in every one ounce of this stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> To be used as a food additive only and should not be eaten straight under any circumstances. This super hot extract blend of pepper and pure capsaicin is only for the faint hearted and should be used responsibly. Oh no. What the fuck? Pure capsaicin? Pepper extract is one of the hottest and purest in the entire world. 16-60% pure capsicum. There is a warning on the bottle that says not to consume this product directly into use as a food additive only. There's also a disclaimer on the back that says you're not to sue the company should you experience bodily harm. That's fucking scary. Regret hot sauce. We can comfortably admit that we weren't privy to this hot sauce's ex existence and we're not sure if we're happy or seriously concerned about the fact that we're finding out. Currently, there's the hottest hot sauce available on the market. Regret is also the hottest hot sauce on the menu at Wilt Wiltshire Chili Farm. You'll be having instant regrets for trying this one. Best you have the plate of chili con carne, meatballs, or fiery curry. We might leave this one to the professionals. 12 million heat units. Tomato, cider vinegar, bourbon, garlic, lime, ghost pepper, habanero, 12 million Scoville, oleoresin, salt, and herbs. Good gravy. As a mod, I'm going to have to veto pure capsaicin. 
yeah no that's that's not happening <laughs> like some of those sound decent and then you just get down to like this area and it's like oh 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 no <laughs> oh god okay so that, that's that's enough of that bullshit um what are we playing tonight uh because i got some ideas i, I really do Oh, I think let's do it. We'll do a 50 50 shot here, right? We're gonna go and uh, manage a poll. New poll question is <clears throat> what we play in, and we have dynamite too because that's, that's our main grab cash grab right now. We're just, just going for it. That's our. Our big story. Ah! Oh boy, Mr. Fathom's here. Um, so we can either do that, we can do Dynamite 2, or. Mm, excuse me. What other scary game do I have? Hmm. You know what? We'll make the other one the Alien Cube. So whoever's here, if you can see the chat, um. You're going to see a poll pop up at the top. Press it and vote for either Dying Light 2 or the Alien Cube for tonight's game. If you can't see it, type one of those two in or put a number one or a number two, something. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'm curious to see what people are going to vote for on this one. No votes so far. Halfway there. <laughs> the room is tense. Oh, we got one vote for the alien cube. Two. You'll just be going to sleep, sir. I'm not going to sleep, apparently. Three votes for the alien cube. Nothing for Dying Light 2. That's how it's going to end. Okay, alien cube it is. Thank you for letting me know. Let's go ahead and launch it. Let's turn the music up a bit. Alessandro Guzzo presents. <clears throat> I didn't want to press it yet. God damn it. Oh well. Do, do, do. Okay. Discover this spiritual prequel to Land of Pain on Steam. Interesting. Spiritual. Mm, okay. Invert mouse. Why? Why? Why are these things? Yes. Theme sounds good. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. V syncs on. We're good. Cool. Awesome. Yes. Apply the joke. Oh, God. I have a black screen. Oh, there we go. It took a second. This is a good one? Oh, good. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and... Move this shiz over here. And... The alien cube. We have updated the stream. Fantastic. Let's get the game going here. Boom. Okay. Ah, I know what I forgot to do. I, I apologize. I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta remember to turn, like, 
at, after I install them, at least launch them so I can get this fucking volume setting right. Because otherwise it's going to be mixed up with a bunch of other shit. Anywho, that should do us now. It did nothing. Oh, no, it's just going through, yeah, the other one because reasons. <sighs> well, okay. I hate when games do this. It's really obnoxious. Anyways, um, show controls. Waz is to move, space is jump, seize crouch, shift is sprint, use and take left, close pages, interrupt actions on right, J is journal. All right. Simple enough. I'm assuming language is in English. <laughs> Yeah, it's the juggernaut, bitch! Yo, butt cheek with the hundred biddies. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna get myself a beer. Oh, no. The last cream ale. Actually, you know what? No. Not yet. Just because of what we were just doing and looking up. Hi. I'm going to bust open a strawberry rhubarb crush from Barrel House C. Is a kettle sour? And, uh, I've had, there's two cans in here. One of them I gave to my dad. He's a big sour beer fan, as am I. Um, but this one, I had one out of the four pack, and I was like, whew, it was pretty fucking sour. So... Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm ready if you guys are ready, so let's do it. Do you want to start a new game? Yes, that's why I clicked on new game and not continue. Thank you. Chapter 1, the event. The most merciful thing in the world, I think, is the inability of the human mind to correlate all its contents. We live in a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinity, and it was not meant that we should voyage far. H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> A little scary to think about. So, loading screen is something else. Okay. Hello. And don't forget, everybody, we got our giveaway still going. Here come the rules if you haven't seen them yet. It's go time. I'm sorry. Where am I? Where am Wait. I? What am I doing here? Jesus. How did I get here? What is this place? Yo, what the fuck? What sort of creature is this? Its appearance gives me the shivers. To say the fucking least. Man, the picture's me. How is that possible? What's that place? What the fuck? Sounds like a door is opening somewhere. I mean, there's a door over there, but. Wiggling away up there. Okay, something's going on on that side of the wall. There's some light over here. Um, from here I can see outside, but the crack is too small to get through. I must find another way out. Damn. I like it that it's light enough. I don't need a flashlight, at least not yet. I feel like that's a lot of games 
is you have to have a flashlight because everything's so fucking dark. But I mean, it's... I get it. But I like when they can build a game and, and have it just have this eeriness to it like this is. And I can see clear across the room. That's tension. That's that's art, really. <laughs> what the fuck? You got the alien after this bitch? Some steampunk shit. What are these gears for? It seems there's some huge machinery behind this wall. My dude, you're real smart. I'm glad I found you. Mechanism. It doesn't work. It seems that a gear is missing. What the fuck? What was that sound? The explosion or the roar? I just picked up a gear from out of nowhere. All right, we're just gonna go. We're just gonna go. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Oh, Fry, you're you're an evil person. <laughs> Fucking door. Go. Um, I made it. Where's it? Where am I? I still don't know where I am. Huh? Huh? Oh, I made it out of whatever the fuck that place was. What the shit? Damn. Oh my god. I could go into the water and it ripples. That is... That is detail. Space to jump. I thought this was like an indie game or something. I'd heard very little about it, and I just heard I heard very good things like you should play this game, you'll enjoy it. This is this is stunning. The music too. The amount of like false security just blanketing me right now, I'm like, hmm, yes, I'm safe. Follow the water. It looks like there's something down there. Some type of structure. Oh. There's a structure out there, too, up on the mountain. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I can run. I forgot. I gotta figure out what my stamina is like in this game, anyways. Unless there is no stamina, it's just kind of, you know, sprint everywhere. If that's the case, I wish I could do a toggle sprint and it not be hold. Nope, I got tired. No, I. What's going on? I can't move. Oh. Oh my oh. God! No! 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 Beautiful scenery for now. Yeah. So I see. Oh my god. Was that a fucking meteor or a ship? It happened so fast and blinding white light. <laughs> Here. They're whispering all around me. What the f 
fuck. God, I don't like this. I guess I just have to go towards the... Was yeah. I dreaming? Oh. What time is it? Uh, eight o'clock, sir. My alarm would have been going off for an hour, and my wife would have driven. I would have written up fucking divorce papers. <laughs> Kidding. That dream it was so realistic and disturbing. Everything I felt was so real. Oh, I'm so tired. Do you go to the bathroom or something or other? Yo, nice flippy flops. Can't close the door. Hmm. Press J to open and close your journal. My dream. Today I find myself writing on the page of my journal once more, hoping it helps me to fall asleep and to find peace again. Nights are troubled by sudden, unexplainable awakenings more and more often. Nearly afterwards, bathed in sweat, I feel terribly tired and have an unpleasant feeling that I've experienced something upsetting that I don't remember. On second thoughts, though, all of this could be due to recent events: the breakup with Jenny, the move in following my uncle Edgar's disappearance. The latter event in particular must have upset me more than I have expected considering the unclear nature of the facts. With newspaper reports is very strange indeed. Only God knows what happened to him. My new home hasn't helped to improve my situation. Perhaps it's just too early. I need more time. And that's my uh, uh, drawing. And there's some uh, tentacles back there too. Lovely. Bunch of people out front walking into a face. Bunch of eyeballs. That looks terrible. That looks downright fucking shitty. <laughs> Found the bathroom. What was I gonna do in here again? I guess this isn't the bathroom, it's the laundry room. Okay. Here's the bathroom. Damn. Yo, nice fucking digs, dude. Can't think about that dream. Because of the strange object was calling me, I was falling, feeling a deep primordial instinct that disturbed me. Ooh. That'll be right there. Is it the door? Who's oh. the door? It's probably the postman. Is there water in that? I can't jump. Who would have drawn a bath already? I just fucking chomped down on all the food. Excuse me for a second. So there ain't so many things. Letter. Edgar's letter. Arthur, my dear nephew, if you're reading this letter, it means that I'm gone. Oh. <clears throat> Yikes. I gave instructions to a close friend to deliver this message to you in the event that something bad should happen to me. In the last few years, we lost contact with one another. I know, and I'm sorry for that. My life changed a lot, and I am only a shadow of the man he knew when you were a child. I know that it was hard for you not know the music. I know that it was hard for you not knowing who your mother was, especially after your father's death. I haven't always been there for you, but I was going through a rough patch. I hope you can forgive me for that. As you know, I have never been married or had children, so I decided to leave you all my possessions. Even though I don't own a lot, your inheritance consists of my apartment and the old cabin in the mountains, which used to belong to your grandparents. This is all I have left. The apartment is situated in the building at number 13 Oldwood Street in Winter Falls. It's quite old and in bad condition, but I cannot afford anything better. Amongst my belongings, you'll probably find some things that you won't be able to make sense of. I ask you to discard everything without question. I'm referring particularly to my manuscripts. They are very personal and, as you will perhaps have been told, Writing was my only solace in my darkest days. I ask you, therefore, not to read them and not to delve into my research. Get rid of everything so that nothing can be found. 
You will find the apartment key in this envelope. Do what you desire with it, but I beg you to respect my last wish. I've always loved you, your Uncle Edgar. Jesus. That's sketchy as fuck. But for Uncle Edgar, it's he left his old flat in town to me. I didn't expect that, but I better go there immediately. Woohoo! <clears throat> Randall Fran. Welcome to the mob. We are just playing some Alien Cube. We just started. If you could do me a favor, because um, we have a giveaway going on right now. Um, thank you, Fry. If you could just join the Discord, that on top of your follow today, I will give you a free game on Steam. As I have a bunch of keys I want to give away, and I want to give it away to people that are want to be supportive, or if they're new here... Just a good way to spice things up, if you will. You can just let us know in the chat in the chat here when you're uh, when you're in. All right, so I guess uh, I can't go without with my pajamas. I must wear something more appropriate. Darn, fine. Change clothes. It'll be a long trip. I better take my cassette player so I can listen to some good music. Where is it? Cassette player? Fucking ear is it? Cassette player. my cassette player. There's still so many things to arrange. I probably have to fucking move again now, too. If I end up going to this other place. Oh. Well, found it. Not going anywhere without that. Right by the door the whole fucking time. Awesome. <laughs> Exit. I don't want to walk that far. When I put my car keys. Jesus Christ. Can I have a list, please? around here somewhere um <clears throat> also that is follower number 299 we are fucking one away from breaking into 300 it's unbelievable where are my fucking keys What the fuck? Where are my car keys? Martha! Like, it looks like I have a key on me, looking at a uh, bottom right hand corner. Ah, oh, you're in. Fry, can you just, um,. Double check Discord just because I have to all tab out of this. I'm it's gonna end up killing the volume and it's obnoxious. Where the hell are my car keys? I guess I'm gonna have. I was I was about to say I'm guessing I'm gonna have to all tab anyways because I have the fucking list and it's currently minimized. Um, give me one second. Cost me a small fortune. The land of pain. Car keys. Okay. Cooly, cooly, cooly. All right, my friend. Let's get you a quick game key here. If you could give me a number between one and thirty-five, and I will sh and I will DM it to you on Discord. Ah, maximize the screen by accident because I'm really smart. Do, 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 do. Meanwhile, another sip of this good sour shit. Thirty. That's a good number. I feel. Oh, it is a classic. 
you, my friend, just scored a copy of the first Fear game. That is a good one. I played that game many, many moons ago. And very much enjoyed it. And it was terrifying. <laughs> so thank you. Hope you stick around for a while and uh, enjoy your time here as we just kind of hang out playing this really mysterious game that I was not ready for. Collection of ancient books. I like to arrange them on my bookshelves. Alright, well anyways, let's get going. We got shit to do. Eggers flat as many hours away. Oh, I'm like, oh, what, what do you want me to do now? Oh, excuse me. Chapter 2, The Apartment. Uncle Edgar disappeared more than we could go. You died just received a letter from him only to find out that I'm his sole heir. It's such a long time since I last saw him. I was only a child at the time, but he must have been fond enough of me to leave me his possession as a legacy. I've never seen where he moved to in the last few years, but after having driven for many hours, I finally reached my destination. The address given in the letter led me here to this old building in the worst district in Winter Falls. The apartment should be up there on the top floor. Whoa. Yikes. Of course, the top floor, too. Where's the concierge level? Alone. Jeez. I thought I was touching the trash. I didn't realize I was touching the vending machine. Holy fuck, man. I can't even pick that soda up. I've ruined everything. We a limo? I died here. Demons drowned me. Holy fucking god. This is not the right apartment. Well, I don't know what the apartment number is. Is there something the journal will tell me? Fucking no. Not the right apartment. Here it is. This is Edgar's flat. Here we go. The lights were on all this time. I, I didn't even see what it was, but the sound scared the life out of me. I was so busy looking at the lights, I didn't even see what it was. I just heard the sound, and I'm very concerned. I'll just leave. I mean, in all reality, I would definitely just fucking leave. Statuette. You found a secret. Well, look at that. Glad I ran like a bitch. Fuck it. Dirty word, dude. Uncle Edgar ever clean? I don't think this man was ever home. It doesn't work. Great. What happened to this mirror? Good question. Drawer is locked. It's a fucking drawer. The page tracker's journal. Finally, after many years, I returned to the old family home. Unfortunately, when I arrived, I saw that nothing of the house was left. Everything had been reduced to a sad pile of rubble. However, it was there, among all the debris, that I found that strange chest. Although clearly very ancient, it was exquisitely crafted, made from fine wood and decorated with strange geometrics and symbols that I'd never seen before. At first, I didn't notice this, as when I was a child, I was used to seeing all kinds of bizarre objects around the house found who knows where by my father during one of his countless journeys. The chest, however, had something sinister and mysterious about it, so I decided to extract from the debris and try to open it. I hope that writing this journal will help me overcome my shock and my discovery, because what I found inside that terrible chest is not something that could belong to this world. Yo. Yikes. Oh, 
Yikes. That's how I play the piano, too. So which way did that thing fucking run to? Oh! Okay. Definitely in this area. That's enough of that. There's fucking pizza boxes everywhere. This man did not live a happy life. There's a strange magnet fit into the wood. Something that has been removed showing the gears. That's weird. That you at? Whoa. Okay, it's back to where it was. This man be setting up booby traps everywhere. Oh. So on the other side is blocking the door. Uh, dishwasher would be or something. Let me just check the other door before I go any further. That's weird. There's no handle. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Ow! Why did I just... I wasn't trying to eat it. I suppose I shouldn't have eaten it. I wasn't trying to. It's a strange crack beneath the painting. Maybe I can move it. Yeah, it's probably fixed on the wall. I right, so gotta find something to pry it. There we go. Oh, it's a disgusting substance. It smells terrible. I don't like this idea at all. But I can try to get through that hole. Ugh. I'm not going through yet. I think same anything else. This terrible smell here. How could my uncle live in these conditions? I don't think he lived here recently. Shit, there's really nothing I can use to pry that thing open. Oh, that's me. Fucking walking over the dishes. Oh my god, scared the fuck out of me. I still don't get the point of that. That's blocked. Alright, well. Anymore. Bro, I. Where it is? It seems like the god's eye is hidden there. Oh, God. Oh, God. My head. Yeah, that was rude. Where am I? What the fuck? out of here. Here's a grate looks quite weak. I may be able to break it with a kick. But I have to try. I, yeah. 
Oh, Jesus. Remember the order. October 30th, December. The disappearance of, of old William's son, Edgar Mitchell, causes quite a few problems. It's been hard to keep track of every officer, but fortunately, they don't find out anything at the scene of the fire. The purpose of that building must remain secret at all costs. At the moment, the case is in the hands of our men and the police. That detective won't set foot in our territories anymore. However, we must find out what happened to Edgar and close the case before someone else snoops around. We'll start by checking his apartment. November 5th, we have proof the existence of the God's Eye. The priestess was right. During the inspection of Edgar's apartment, we found some papers belonging to his father, Old William. Everything suggests that he was in possession of the sacred artifact without us knowing it. How is it possible that such a trusted member of the Order betrayed us? We are trying to understand where his hiding place is. All signs point to a location in a town where there used to be an ancient village inhabited by our ancestors. What the fuck, man? Yep. Uh -huh. Where is that? It's like switch over in the corner. Oh, it's that mirror. That's a bedroom. Okay. And some type of trap door on the ceiling. That's out in like the main hallway. Were they spying on the Edgar? Who are those people? What were they looking for? Yeah, they just gonna say. A lot of places I need to go back there now. Oh, they're right next door. They dug their way through. Screwdriver, let's go. Shit. Go. Sound like somebody was coming. Uh, I didn't really have an option to use anything there. Right here. Family secrets. I never would imagine that my uncle could live in such squalor. The farm is in very bad condition. There's dirt and mess everywhere. The weirdest thing was the, presen the presence of a hole in the kitchen and a stranger who attacked me and locked me in a room. Luckily, I found a way out, but who is that psycho? He didn't look like a simple criminal. He behaved as if he was part of an organized group. I found some upsetting research on Uncle Edgar in the apartment next door. It seems that they were looking for an ancient artifact that was owned by Grandfather William. What else is hiding in this apartment? There are still many things to discover. Who knows where Edgar was investigating before his disappearance? So there's the sink underneath the, the hole, the stereo that blew up my fucking face. And there's the hallway. Oh yeah, it's right here. Why can't I fucking do something with that? Gotta be a There's no phone line. <laughs> Jesus fudge fucker. <sighs> I have no words for you. Where can I use this screwdriver? Do I have an inventory or something? No? I can't, like, use the weapon. Or, use the weapon. Use the item. Is that a gunshot? No way. Bastard. 
I don't feel comfortable just leaving right now. Missing. There's gotta be something somewhere. It's like three things. That, like, this doesn't explain anything. I got that thing going on over there. I got that picture over there. I got this thing up here. Um, and then we got this. He had, they had the camera looking over here. But I don't think that was as big of a deal. But like. There's got to be something nearby that can be helpful here. I already read the page. The drawer is locked. Alright, I guess we'll just leave. to go this way. Can't go up that way. What the fuck? Does it want me to go further into that place? Like the next... Oh, it's time, baby! Yo, demon with the raid of two? Thanks, buddy! Hey, you're rocking the fuck out of this for honor game. <clears throat> well, welcome. Appreciate you dropping by. We're playing the alien cube, and it's as fucked as, it, as you think it probably is. For instance... So then maybe there's something in here I can use the screwdriver on, I just didn't see it. I never checked the door. It's locked, but I can't fucking use the screwdriver to fucking break the lock. And I can't go back into that area, I don't think. Nope, can't crawl back over. What the balls? Kind of at a loss. Three hours of straight Fortnite gameplay. Oh man, died to a guy who had a, a tank. Good lord. <laughs> Salmon? The hell is that? Looks like some kind of cocoon. That's a good point. That is pretty big. So, where do I go from here? That means there's got to be something else I can pick up somewhere to help solve these puzzles. I've already looked at that. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Like, what are my controls again? Yeah. Just left mouse button. I don't think I can't do anything else in here. Oh, but she was there for a while. That's that's cool. Alright, so there's gotta be something locked that I didn't find before. What it could be, I have no fucking clue. Can we move the boxes maybe? There's no door, no handle there. A new follower, cool. What's that? Uh, he's 24 now, right? Pretty much, you're basically halfway there.
Something tells me we have to have it facing towards the door. But I don't know what it actually does. Yeah, it's the Juggernaut, bitch! Yo! Back from Lurk and have my last biddies. <laughs> Well, thank you. I appreciate you. I, and I'm, I'm honored to get the remnants of your biddies. The last of the biddies. The last of the biddykins. I'm hoping maybe this will, like... You know. So maybe if I keep rotating this, eventually it'll, like, change how this thing is totally, like, stuck to the wall. So that thing has done basically nothing. Which she or he wants to be called Nacho? Oh, Pineo. Okay, wants to be called Nacho. Got it. Okay, maybe if I keep spinning this now, will the trap door be unlocked? Nope, stuck still. I guess it's stuck, not unlocked. No. Uh, it's one more to try. It won't work. Fuck. Okay. Is there something I missed in the bathroom here? I just saw some grape? Oh! Found it! Well, it took me ten minutes. Small key. Okay. Where does this small key go to? That's still stuck. Okay. So something has to be, again, locked somewhere. Still no handle there. I wonder if I can use it on the neighboring door. Maybe that's what that is. Like this one right here. What the fuck? Nope. I can't even check it. It's a new day. Yes, it is. That needs to be like a gear or something. There's no handle there. What was that? Oh. I thought that was something I could like adjust with the outlet or something. So there's nothing in here. I, this isn't even locked, it just gets stuck. Let's go through again. Fucking oh, what is that? <laughs> All right. Um, oh, yeah. Here's the fucking key, in Nimrod. Was on to something. Oh, good. I'm glad you're getting that working, man. Yeah, it's it's a nifty little thing. It's a pain in the ass sometimes, but it can be pretty nifty. Oh, dirt the drawer. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. There we go. His journal or a page. After the, hor after the horrific discovery, friendly answers to my questions became a real obsession. So I started to study my father's old papers in depth. My research uncovered the existence of a mysterious order. Its origins are extremely ancient, but apparently it still exists today. Indeed, I found clear references to it in my father's notes, and it seems that he was even a member. What? I also found out that in addition to the old cabin in the mountains, 
My father owned many other properties scattered around the area. I didn't even know. Why didn't he tell me about them? There was one place in particular that was very important to him, and it seems that he did everything to keep it a secret. I made a map showing its location. I'm going to go there immediately. Oh, so that's where... Whatchamacallit, that, that dude just went. Now I can tell a fucking lot of my gameplay to my voice. There you go. Okay. In Black Hill Forest. It says Northwood, Rock Valley, Camping Area, Wolf Creek, Stonefield, Black Hill Forest, Black Hill Ca Castle. So did Grandfather William secretly owned a piece of land? Edgar must have found out and made this map. It's fucking wild. I better go there right away. I'll come back here later. Those who have imprisoned me are heading there. If I hurry, I can arrive first and find out more about what's going on. That's fucking outrageous. But still. I can't go back? Why did it just do that? Need to, unless I can come back here with the gear piece, I guess. And maybe, maybe that opens the trap door. Who knows? Alright. So I think now I should be able to get downstairs. Yes, exit. Cool. Chapter 3, The Secret Location. The road is getting arduous, but I should be almost there. My grandfather's secret place should be in a valley near an ancient castle not far from here. With a bit of luck, I should be able to arrive there before anyone else. Those who capture me are heading right there. Then probably not. <laughs> For as long as it just took us to find that key. If we beat those guys there... My god. <laughs> New color. Nice. <clears throat> Alright. Go time. Well, this might be the last chapter for the night, depending on how it goes. Yo. Nice fucking ride. Ugh. <clears throat> Too fast, too motherfucking furious. <laughs> Alright, cool. So now we're here out in the wilderness. Totally won't have a problem here at all. Again, very nice scenery. I'm very worried. Hmm. Um, so basically, we we had a dr like a nightmare, and we've been having a lot of insomnia and a lot of bad nightmares. Um, and it turns out our, our uncle disappeared, and he ended, he ended up having someone send me a letter from him, and he was saying that he's basically dead. Left us in a part his apartment. Grandma's probably should be behind that old building over there. Oh, okay. So, basically, we went to go to the uncle's house. He wanted us to destroy some documents. While we were there, some other dude was there and he jumped us. They apparently were living next door because there was a hole in the kitchen where, like, a dishwasher would be. You could crawl in and out of it. How do you do the song request for commands? I don't know. I don't really... I don't do that um, that particular command. Because I don't really play um, like copyrighted mu music. Ah, Jesus ah, fucking ah, God. Ah, fuck Lord God. Ah, ah, oh my. What's going on? Where the fuck?
I think you did have a hallucination. Like, we've been in this spot three times now. What the? I almost walked right off of that brick, right off of that spot. And, oh. Yeah, I, don't, I just know I'm making that jump. This dude doesn't really jump. He doesn't jump very well. It's quite loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. Sorry. Again, I don't know why I'm clicking out when I have the controls right here. There. <clears throat> Maybe I can go down this way? Oh, nope. No, definitely, definitely not. Now which way do I go? Explains no trespassing at least. Examine. The engine's still warm. Someone got here before me. I mustn't get caught. Fuck. Is there another way to get over there? I wish I could zoom in on this rock right there. It just, it looks like a fucking picture of a dog. It uses a textile piece. <laughs> Alright, what if I go this way? Nope, okay. Fine. Shit, shit, shit. How in the hell am I going to get over there? much as I could get. <laughs> Alright, so they built invisible walls. You can't even go up that way. Alright, so I must have missed something down here. What may I have missed? The world may never know. Seriously, want me to fucking jump? Oh, push. Ah. Ah. You fucking high, dude. this? Oh, nothing. Great. And this looks like a dead end up here. Uh, yep. Nothing to do over there. Okay, fine. Just wanted to make sure. Alright, no problem, demon. I'll be here. Ooh, almost just jumped to my death. That'd have been terrible. Okay. Everything just feels super fucking eerie right now. Cause, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Of course. Ow. 
awesome. I was gonna try to make that run jump, and I was like, I got it, no big deal. There's a weird shadow up ahead. Literally just a shadow. Okay. Whew. I thought there was some type of fucking creature standing there. I was like, um, I'm dead. <laughs> Won't turn. Looks like there's no fuel in the generator. Of course. Alright, cool. So now we have an objective, apparently. Go find some fuel to fill up the generator, turn it on, and ride the elevator up. Up to where? No fucking clue. Oh boy. That's where I fell. Okay. Can't go that way if it even is a way, because it's way too dark. Or right. Just go left. Uh, claustrophobia is going to set in real soon in this, I bet. journal. These places are full of secrets. We were all excited. <laughs> what? At night we observed this guy in those mysterious lights. Well, during the day we explore these magnificent tunnels. The whole area is full of these underground galleries. It will take days and days to explore them. They're of inestimable 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 value. Who knows what kinds of ancient discoveries we find we might find deeper inside. It said there were ancient underground cities here, connected to each other by a network of tunnels that were populated by obscure cults. In recent history, however, no human being has gone to the depths to confirm this bizarre theory. These, uh, these tunnels are very dangerous indeed as they could collapse at any moment, not to mention the risk of falling into one of those ravines. Rosa came when she said that she'd heard a strange voice coming from the depths of the abyss. Who knows what she really heard, but it was probably just a poor animal that had fallen down there. Oh boy. Sheesh. Right, well, it's just the page over here, but the pages are good. They help tell the story, which we need. I'll just run across this fucking... <laughs> no big deal. Alright, I can take the other tunnel. So who lit all the torches? This is a great job. I mean, honestly, it's part of the dude that attacked me and he just beat me here. There's a fire over there. Nice and stealthy in my boot fucking moccasins. Let's up at the green blob over there. Have to check that out too. There's nobody here. Who leaves a f roaring fucking fire? Oh, I'll take your fucking fuel. Explorer's Journal. We find a wonderful place for camping. Apparently it's right here among these mountains. 
that those strange events occur. Last night we spotted strange lights in the woods. It seems the stories told about these forests are true. We immediately focused the telescopes on the point where the light beams appeared. When we looked through it, none of us could believe our eyes. We were all shocked. How come that planet was so close to the Earth? How does one explain that it's not there anymore? What we have makes no sense. Something very strange is up there. Well, take a look. What the? Yo. That's some sketchy shit. I can't move it or anything. This is just what I can look at. And there's... I don't know. It just, just does not seem right. So that didn't look like the moon. Or the sun. Now I have to go see what the fuck this is over here. I'm very curious. What do we have here? Nothing that's important, apparently. I think it's important as fuck. There's a fucking corpse down here. Or a skeleton, rather. Still, shit. There's nothing on that body, really? Oh, you're back? Nice. Alright, this is back where I came from. What else could be around here? Ooh. Path around back. Anything new in the journal? No. Great. Alright. Let's head down here and see what's going on over here. Oh, it might be one of the secrets. Yeah, it's a statuette. Jesus. What was that noise? Um, also, I think that was a Cthulhu one. Yeah, man, absolutely. Yeah, keep checking it out. It's always good to keep learning more. Because you can keep making your stream better and better and better. Every little inch, every little move or change. Okay. Um, well, fuck. Now I'm lost again. I don't know really what to do. I guess I didn't head this way yet. Um, can I not? Oh shit. Might not be able to. Oh wait. I have to turn the generator back on. I have the fuel. What am I doing? Okay. So we're going to head back all the way through. Back to the generator. Oh, I'm doing well, man. I appreciate you. Thank you for asking. Um, man, it was a pretty good day. I got a... What the fuck was that? Maybe it was just some dust falling, but it looked like a person dropped next to me silently. Oh shit. Go. Just 
Don't fucking stop. We gotta get up. We gotta get up to another level here. Fill it up, boy. Uh, but yeah, no. Pretty solid day. Pretty solid Monday. Hope you're doing well, also. You get my ass beat. Jesus. Oh, fuck me. Just let me up. Come on. Right there. Go! Propane tanks? Jesus. Oh, I was supposed to run away. Okay. Lesson learned. <laughs> the generator was shorting and blowing up. And there's propane tanks at the top. Take two. I just didn't even think about, like, running away. I was like, oh, okay, I'm fine. Fucking run. I, I did ran. That's what. That's why I survived this time. But it, what was the point of coming up here, though? There must be something. That's all collapsed now. Yeah. I guess we'll just uh, ride the mountain down. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can't examine this, right? No. Okay, good. Uh. Hmm. Definitely don't go that way. Oh, tree break. Oh, what the hell happened over there? Who is that guy? Probably that same fucking dude that took us out. Come on, get up, you poon. <laughs> uh, fuck? Yeah. Well, I can't heal myself. There's, like, nothing in inventory here. Uh. It's locked. Damn, I have to find a way to get past the fence. Hope that in the building there's something I can use to heal myself. Alright, well, at least this is accurate then come on
Hmm. Yeah, this would be interesting trying to get through this little pickle. I'm starting to feel better than I get and it gets bad again. <sighs> Jerk. Can't climb underneath that? Fuck. Mr. Fathom. I can't fathom that you would do such a thing. <laughs> Jump. I'm gonna die. Help me. Heal me. I'm super fucked up right now. Medicine cabinet right there. First aid kit. My leg is better now. Cool. Glad we're feeling better for the kid. Oh, yeah. Drawer. Cassette. The Presbyterian from the outside, April 15th, 1974. You what now? Oh, thanks, Demon. Have a good night, dude. Appreciate you. Whew. Goosebumps playing this. Oh, excuse me. I'm also turning into a tired boy. Well, that was terrifying. Guys, got any more tapes? Page. Grandfather William's Journal. We have so little knowledge of the world around us that the visions of the sacred places have fully begun. The distorted reality they reveal is extremely fascinating. But what, what, blah, blah, blah. but was what I experienced real or was it just in my head? I could feel clearly that my body was there, that it was a part of that place. Next time I'll record everything with my voice recorder. I want to be absolutely sure that what I experienced was just a vision. The sacred artifact has unimaginable power. I was lucky to find it while I was alone. It would be insane to let the other members get a hold of it. No one must know. Oh, shit. So he found this, they call it the God's Eye, which apparently is the alien cube itself. Yeah, he's uh, keeping it for himself, and they didn't like that. Uh, what the hell is inside those containers? Uh, that's a good question. Alright, what am I to do in here? Anything else? Just get the fuck out. I think get the fuck out's the right answer. See if I can unlock it from the inside here. Nope. Odd. Let's check around the house for anything. An axe? Yo, okay. Unfortunately, I can't wield it and use it as a weapon. That'd be nice. Can I use it to get out? Nope. Because that would make sense. Well, well. I'm assuming the other door is locked. Let's go check. It's 
sock if they find a way inside the cave. Who knows what my grandfather had in here? Yep. So okay. Ready to kick this time? Okay, at least not initially. That's nice. I can't unlock the door. Okay, fine. Hmm. What? Oh, another page up ahead here, it looks like. Grandfather Williams' journal. It's all true. I managed to record everything. This is the confirmation I was looking for. I never imagined I would one day be walking right there, in the outside. That place is beyond description. There's one thing I shouldn't underestimate, though. If I can see, I can be seen, too. Next time I'll have to tread very carefully if I want to go, if I want to go deeper. Something must have noticed my presence. During the exploration, I sense a dreadful malign, uh, malign, I think it's malign presence that I still can't explain. That gaze, I can still feel it upon me, even now while I'm writing this journal. Oof. When you stare at the abyss, and the abyss just stares fucking back. The whispering. Indeed. God, my head, what's happened to me? Did I faint? I have to take this strange object out of here and study it in the light. That's that's a bad idea. Jesus fucking Christ. This isn't right. I'm somewhere else. Oh my god. All I have to light the way is this fucking cube. This green fucking... Just glowing light. Ugh. Fuck was that? God. This is my box. I'm gonna take you home now. Fuck yourself. That's what I have to say on the on the matter. Jesus Christ. It's already nighttime. How is that possible? It must have been out for many hours. I better go get back to Uncle Edgar's apartment. I'll be able to study the cube there. Uh, real quick, you just sent me a message. Jack, I don't know what you have planned, but Riz, Fishbone, and I are about to tackle some ghosts and fads when I'm desperate to hear your sultry tones in my Discord. If not, I love you and miss you anyway, but holy o. Oh. Damn, I wish... Um, and I'll have to respond in his chat, too. But... Unfortunately, like I'm gonna finish this chapter and I'm I'm gonna hit the head. I'm gonna hit the hay. Like I'm pretty tired. Uh, 
one second, folks. Okay. What is that red light? What the fuck was that? Just keep running. Oh, it's the radio tower. Okay. Journal. The cube. This object. It's the same thing I saw in my dreams. How is that possible? I feel a strong and constant call coming from it. It's like something inside is calling me. And what really happened in that cave? I've never felt anything so intense in my whole life. I must have been out for many hours. It's already nighttime. I've also experienced strange visions, which are getting worse. My God, am I going crazy? I have to find out more about this object. Cool. So you get one journal entry per chapter, it appears. Oh, I see with that connected. Oh, sick. I was going to say, how am I going to make it back? Because that fucking tunnel collapsed and then... Those ding-dongs. Uh, dude already fucking left, actually. His truck was gone. But that means they saw my fucking car. Fuck. What the? Where's my car? The fucking truck just took it. What do you think? Oh boy. Night, Mr. Fathom. Should I go down to that house? I should check the house out first, shouldn't I? No, one ghost hunt. I don't know, man. I'll, let me, I'll get some other stuff done, then I'll, I'll check in on you. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay, fuck that. Well, this is not good. Not good at all. There, turn the volume back. Oh, uh, Night Fry, I appreciate you. And I appreciate you too, Fathom. And I uh, appreciate Heavy, and I appreciate you all. Have a lovely evening. I'm going to get to the end of this chapter, and... That's going to be it. Give me shelter. No? Okay. That's fine. I'm sorry, what was that? I just heard a noise. I didn't see anything. I'm running for my life. Yikes. Ooh. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck? Fuck! Go. I wasn't here before. Was everything even real? I don't understand what's happening to me. I must go back to Edgar's apartment and learn more about the strange artifact. Yo, go. Get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> I noticed the orders are everywhere and now they know I'm in possession of the cube. 
I'm lucky to have found it before they did. From now on, I must be careful. These people are fanatical, and I mustn't allow them to catch me. I'm sure I'll find more information in Edgar's apartment. I hope it's safe there. Dude. Oh. Holy shit. Come on, hurry up and load. It's ghost nut time. <laughs> the nuts that belong on ghosts. And they are full of translucent cum. <laughs> I just want this fucking thing to load so that I can goddamn quit it. Anyways, we'll just jump over here, I guess, for now then. Um, oh, of course, now it's going to finish up. Let me go ahead and kick on some tunes. Tunes! Ah, oh, okay. Exit game. We outskis. Okay, all right, all right. Do I, really? No, just exit. Just go. <laughs> Didn't like that. Uh, let's take a look. Well, it's obvious who I'm going to go to anyways. It's not like I fucking raid that many other people. <laughs> all right. Heavy's playing Phasmo. Anyone that's still here is going to go have a fucking great time watching him scream. So, um, yeah. Uh, get over there. Just fucking spam the fuck out of the emotes on him. Just all the emotes. All of them. And, uh, he's a big old bitch baby. <laughs> yeah, he kind of is. But he's, he's adorable, so. Anywho. Um... Yeah, I'll be talking to you guys on, on Heavy's stream for sure. Otherwise, have a great night. I'll catch you soon. You're super early. I maybe did some insider trading on that one. <laughs>